Hello friend, it's Boris Legend here. Do you ever feel that your attack is too static and that you're lacking passing options? Today I will show you how to control your players in the attack to either make a deadly run through the opponent's defense or to just simply come and meet the ball. There are two buttons to control the player's movement in attack. The first is L1 to make your teammate run, which is very useful to create motion in your attack and outsmart the opponent's defense. Then we have R1, which makes your teammate come and meet the ball for a pass, which is very useful to create passing options when your players are too far away from the ball. More than 50% of the FIFA players don't know about the R1 button, but don't panic, you did not live in a lie. This was first introduced in FIFA 17. Let me show you how to perform this correctly. In order to make your player run, you have to click L1 or LB on Xbox and point the left analog stick towards the player you want to run, just like this. Sometimes it doesn't register properly, so feel free to spam the L1 button until you see the player starts making a run. The other button is R1 or RB on Xbox. This works exactly the same, except for that the player will come and meet the ball instead of running away. Also here you have to point the right analog stick towards the player you want to activate. In order to activate your teammates you have to use the clicking motion on L1 and R1. If you just hold the buttons down the teammate will not react. Ok now we come to my favorite part where I will show you how this looks in the game. So first we have this example here with Jovinko and he just stands and looks maybe thinks why he's called the atomic ant and we have to click L1 here and point the left trigger towards Jovinko, the left analog stick and you will see what happens he will start to make the motion and we can press triangle and make a simple goal. Then here we have Williams and once again pointing the left trigger which in this case is easy because we are already running in this uh, direction and then just clicking L1 you can see how Williams will start to make a very very dangerous run and cut through the opponent's defense and you can see what happens here we're able to score this goal and then in the same game we have this situation here but now we're not running in this direction so we have to point uh, the left trigger more manually and you can see here we'll point towards Williams click L1 and he will start to make uh, this motion and uh, also scoring this winning goal. And here you can see another example how I make a little turn here to activate the Toure and then I continue in the same direction and just spamming L1 to all my players and you will see this is so difficult to defend because I have so many players making these runs and here I have uh, just so many options and I'm able to finish and score this goal. And then there is also one more variation, you can also hold down L1 and pass if you want to run with the player who has possession of the ball, which in this case is Ronaldo, you will see here, we will try to make Ronaldo make a run through the opponent's defense, so we hold down L1 this time, so not clicking, we're holding down L1 and then making the pass and you will see how Ronaldo will continue making this run uh, and we can make a 1-2 pass and making a simple goal and then once again I'm combining these two things first I'm clicking L1 to activate my player here and then holding down L1 plus pass to also trigger his motion you will see uh, I have so much motion here and it's so difficult to defend and then a perfect timing with the triangle pass and we score the goal then we're moving over to the next button which is R1 or RB on Xbox and you will see here we want Cavani to move towards the ball to receive the pass and turn around to make a shot. So we click R1 and point with the left trigger and you see here how Cavani runs towards the ball and we can turn around and make a very simple goal. And here once again Giovinco runs away from the ball but we have the R1 button so we're aiming towards Giovinco here and you see how he will turn around and we will with perfect timing make the R1 pass, the driven pass and you will see here how efficient this is. And then we come to my favorite example which is cutting in from the wing and trying to find a pass into the middle and you see here the player is running away from the ball and we want to find the pass into this area here. So we're clicking R1 and uh, pointing the left trigger towards this player and you will see what happens now because he will stop making this run and finding the perfect spot here for the pass into the middle and the rest is history. 
And you will see also this example here. First, I'm pressing L1 and then changing my mind, pressing R1 and Lukaku runs uh, towards the ball and we're able to outsmart the opponent's uh, defense and scoring this goal. So by using these two buttons and combining them, you will be able to take your gameplay to the next level. Remember, you are in control, not the game. So guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you didn't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, until next time.